So let's talk about bowel obstruction now. Now before we go into the details of bowel obstruction and the various types of bowel, the various causes of bowel obstruction, let's just talk about the basic pathogenesis and the two broad types of bowel obstruction. So the two broad types of bowel obstruction can either be dynamic bowel obstruction or a dynamic bowel obstruction. Right? Now, I always like to give this example. Imagine two situations. Situation number one is that you have to go from point A to point B. You have your car, but what has happened is that there has been an accident on the road. And because of that accident on the road, you are stuck in a traffic jam. So you can't move. Right? That is situation number one. Situation number two is you have to go from point A to point B in your car. There is no traffic on the road, but the battery of your car is dead. Okay. So dynamic obstruction is the first situation. That means that this is the bowel. This is the direction of flow of feces, but there is something obstructing the flow of feces. There is something obstructing the flow of feces. So there is a physical obstruction to the flow of feces or there is a traffic jam. A dynamic obstruction is a dynamic obstruction is that there is no traffic, there is no physical obstruction, but the bubble wall is not contracting. So the battery is dead, the wall is not contracting. That is a dynamic obstruction. Okay. Now what happens? Again, let's go back to the first situation. When you are stuck in a traffic jam, the favorite thing which you do is you blow the horn. Okay, you blow the horn and you want the car in front of you to move. The same thing happens in dynamic obstruction. In dynamic obstruction, the proximal bowel contracts vigorously to overcome the obstruction. The proximal bowel contracts vigorously to overcome the obstruction. Okay, so you have hyperperistaltic bowel sounds. You have hyperperistaltic bowel sounds in dynamic obstruction. Right? But if you keep on blowing the horn for a very long period and you're just standing there, sometimes the battery of your car can die. Fine. So a silent abdomen in dynamic obstruction is an ominous sign is an ominous sign and silent abdomen in dynamic obstruction means that either strangulation has occurred or perforation has occurred. Whereas in a dynamic obstruction because the bowel wall is not contracting because the battery is dead you have a silent abdomen from start. So a silent abdomen is a normal thing in a dynamic obstruction, but in dynamic obstruction, it's an ominous sign. Right? So this is something which I want you to remember for the exam. Now, what are the causes of dynamic and a dynamic obstruction? So dynamic obstruction, the causes are the causes of dynamic obstruction are intersusception, volvulus, hernias, hernias, stricture, malignancy, adhesions right? and out of these bowel adhesions 
are the most common cause of bowel obstruction overall bowel adhesions are the most common cause of bowel adhesions overall a dynamic obstruction the causes are mesenteric ischemia mesenteric ischemia that means no petrol in the car bowel is not getting blood okay second you can have hirschsprung's disease hirschsprung's disease or congenital megacolon paralytic ileus oglevy syndrome or colonic pseudo obstruction okay. so these are the various causes of dynamic and adynamic bowel obstruction 